Yo, what's going on, sexy seven letters squad? Today we're doing a ranked one v one onion night beer. Huh? Uh, I picked Knox. I don't know why. Timer was counting down, and I didn't know who to play, so I just locked in Knox. My nose is really bad right now, so I apologize. I was waiting to record until later in the day for my nose to not be so bad, but it's just not getting better. Um, we're gonna nose camp on today. Um. I probably need to be a little bit defensive because Fenrir's early game is really, really strong, and I'm not going to be able to kill him uh, ever. Maybe. So, we're going to play really defensively with just a Mage's Blessing and a Tier 1 defensive item. Uh, there was a comment a lot of people liked that basically said, um, I liked it better when you... Did I just have this? Basically it said, uh, I liked it better when you explained everything you were doing. And... I agree. I think it was better when I did that. So what I'm going to do is try to do that. Explain my item choices and my plays. It's a little bit more. Oh, it sucks that he can follow me with that. But that's alright though because we did a lot of damage to him. Because he aggroed on the minions when he used his 3 on me. So He's got a stun ready. I don't want to get too close. <laughs> Lucky for me, he has no health pots. Also, this is a pretty good matchup for me, I think. Oh, I'm terrible. Big yikes. Well, I don't know. Things could be worse, I guess. I don't want to let him back right now. Basically because he's not level 5, so... <clears throat> Ooh, didn't even come close to clearing. Alright, I cleared his minion wave. Should be a kill. Nice. I cleared his minion wave, so all of my archers and minions were hitting him. Which means that... I could actually do some damage because he has magical defense right now and I started with physical defense so in terms of like me damaging him it's just not gonna work but what will work is if I can catch him within my minion wave because my minion does physical damage and he has no physical defense so that was a good play I used everything I had to clear the wave and I rooted him into my minions. Can I pick this up in time? Thank you, thank you. He is level 5. So he can ult me now, which sucks. Uh, I do want him to hit me, actually. Oh, something worth noting. If I 2 my feet when he lands on me, his land will actually not do damage. Oh, is my one a cripple? My one can stop his three, huh? I didn't know that. He could have killed me there. Will he die to that? Let's see if he wants to jump on me here. Oh, that was perfect. That was perfect. I told you. If he lands on me, I don't know why it works this way. Because in my opinion, it should still do damage. I'm so nasally. I'm so nasally. In my opinion, it should still do damage, but it doesn't, you know? And that was a perfect explanation. Or, uh, example of it working. I'm glad I was able to show. 
But yeah, this is a really good matchup because of that fact. That I can just two my feet and he can't jump on me. And if he does, it doesn't do damage. So. <clears throat> I do wish that my two cleared the wave, but I can't be too angry about it because of the fact that... Well... I started defense. But I think I need... Oh my god. I think I needed to start defense because... He would do so much damage to me if I didn't. And I have max cooldown now, pretty much. I mean, not exactly. I have 30%. But once this mages gets finished, I'll have max cooldown, so... I'm kind of there. With my finished boots, I should be able to clear the whole wave, so... I'm gonna wait it out so I can group up these minions and clear the whole wave at once. Perfect. And this red buff will spawn soon. I have max cooldown, so... I'll have my abilities up for it. I will alt it if he shows up. Ah, uh, he's not showing up. Good for me. Actually, he is showing up. I want to save my dash because it's important. See if we can get some damage on him here. Nice. Not a lot, but it was something. He has runic shield, and I have defense, so... I can't be too picky, you know? I was hoping he would ult me right there. Uh, is he going to his blue buff? He is. I'm just gonna auto attack this for a second. Alright, guarantees me the blue buff. He's gonna use his three. I'm gonna root him because it's a cripple and a silence. I believe it's a silence. Uh, rooting and crippling, so it's not a silence. But because it's a cripple, he can't do anything about it. I think I'm gonna go spear. I think I'm going spear here. We're doing pretty good so far. I hope this video is uh, explanatory, I guess. I did a decent amount of damage, actually. More than I was expecting. Right, if he keeps walking into it, I will gladly take this damage, bro. Gladly. Jump on me? Oh, not jumping on me. I got him scared. I got him in the back burner. Oh shit. Alt me. Or uh, three me, three me, three me. Damn. Oh, see, I knew he had his stun up. Oh, it doesn't go through walls, idiot. He can kill me right now. Now he cannot, he has no mana. Ah. Damn. Good job, Jukin. Good job, Jukin. I'll clear that. And then we just clear our blue buff again. I actually don't want to pick up the blue buff because I don't think mana is an issue for me. And I already have max cooldown. I'm not going to get my second relic yet because I don't know what he's getting. And I don't want to get countered by his second relic. Like, I don't want my relic countered by his. Well... Ow. That did a lot of damage, but he used a lot of his mana to do that. And he activated his two late, so... I would love some form of life still here. Let's do that to proc my spear. Oh, my alt shit.
Oh, that was perfect. Okay, so what I did there with that play, basically, I knew he was backing right there on that corner because I saw him go there, right? Um, so I positioned my two in a way that it forced him to not, like, keep going to the blue buff, so he had to back up. Um, hold that thought. Let me get an item. I think I'm going to go Ethereal Staff. Because he's going to be a tanky boy, probably. Um, yeah, he's building HP right now. That's perfect. So basically, I placed my two in a way that cuts off this path for him. He won't be able to run that way. So he has to backstep. And then, because he has to backstep, I cut off the backstep path with my ult. So he either gets hit by my two or hits by my ult. gonna jump. I wish that hit him, but it did not. Ooh, good beads. Oh. Could you imagine if that hit him? I don't know why I got stuck in that corner. That was whack. Look, if you want to back, you can back, but I'm not letting you kill my wave. Okay, I think he back. I wasn't quite able to catch him in that. <laughs> it was a good ult anyways though, because my one might have killed him. With the tick of the tick damage from my ult and my one on him, all of which combined might have killed him. Let's see what his second relic is, I'll wait in base for it. I don't know what that noise was. No. So he got blink. Um I think because he got Blink, I don't really need Aegis. I can cancel his 2. I can cancel his 1 or his 3 with my 2. Uh, so I think just to keep him close to me, I'm going to get Horrific. I think it actually is like a really good play right here. Well, that was a Blink. I think I can try to kill him here. Oh, damn. I don't have any life steal, so normally I would go down to the last hit and then I would go over to the to this red buff here, but I don't have any life steal in my build right now, and I really don't want to risk dying. Because if I die right now, because I'm on a kill streak, uh, sorry, uh, because I'm on a kill streak, me dying would mean he's getting more gold and more XP. So right now, if he killed me because I have three kills and no deaths, if he killed me, I I would give him 900 gold and 1,120 XP. He would level up. He would he'd catch up in level. And in build off of one kill because I'm gonna kill streak. So because of that, I want to try to play pretty carefully until there's a guarantee that I can get something out of my death, like a phoenix or something. Hello. It doesn't bother me. Yeah. <laughs> bless. Bless. Oh goodness. On my nose. <coughs> oh. I'm sorry. I wanted to wait. 
but my nose just didn't want to do it for me. Oh god, it's happening again. <coughs> oh, my headset fell off. Look at that guy from the X-Men. Shoots lasers out of his eyes. Um, he actually doesn't have that much HP. I'm building Soul Reaver because I expected him to go into Pestilence or Bulwark or something right here. He's going into damage, which... No, no. Super ballsy, but also, in my opinion, the wrong play. Because Nox doesn't do enough consistent damage to warrant, like, anything other than defense. So you can just build defense against Nox and you win. Uh, is my one on instant? It is. My one feels slow. I think a Bancroft actually would help so much right now, though. Ah, uh, good you. Oh. Okay. Ah, oh, God. Oh, no! Ah! Oh. Okay, let's just back. No, don't back, don't back, that's stupid. You're giving up so much opportunity if you back right now. Don't back. Can we get the Phoenix? Oh! I think he blinked 3-1. Damn, he got so much XP off that kill. I wish I could see. Also, my system says I'm killing myself. Oop. <laughs> okay. Uh, upgrade Horrific just because it makes him do 25% less damage. Or 15% less damage, my mistake. He actually didn't... I thought this was going to be a beat stick because he assumed I was going to build Lifesteal, but... He didn't build a beat stick, which makes me think I'm totally okay to go for... A Bancroft's last item. Your power is under I got red shit. That sucks. I just gotta try to push him out again. <laughs> I gotta try to push him out so I can... Get his Phoenix. I definitely do a lot of damage to him. Is it enough? I don't care if I tank this. Put this on my feet so he can't jump. Perfect. Perfect. He's getting more defense. I expected. I'll just back, actually. Let's sell this. And get Bancrofts. I'll pick up my blue buff so we still have max cooldown. He... has 2200 HP. So I think my Ethereal Soul Reaver combo is going to be working. Probably not as good as it could work if he built, like, a Pestilence or something. But, I mean, to be fair, he doesn't really have a reason to build Pestilence because I didn't build any lifesteal. Ouch. What the fuck? He's so fast. Oh my god, I didn't mean to do that. Entertain. 
Right now it's all about just trying to be super annoying. Because all he's doing is trying to deal with fire minions and I got a hell of a lot more of those to come, so... Also, I could buy my Bancrofts. Oh! Damn it. I use my one to stop his three. Don't jump on my boys. Gotta protect my minions. All right, perfect game. I think I actually play better when I talk everything out like that. Uh, let me know in the comments if you like the more meme style of commentary or if you like this I guess more uh, examining it, it's better for beginners this kind and as people know smite is mostly beginners so um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure to like comment and subscribe and until next time guys peace